welcome to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be based on how to cut a bustier cut from Princess Art. So let's go to the cutting section. Welcome to the cutting section. I'm using this fabric to cut out the Princess bustier cut. So this is the facing that I'm using on it as a lining. And this is going to be the wording that I'm going to use on it. So after that, I'm starting with the fabric first to cut out the fabric. I'm folding this into four, leaving a zip allowance aside. This is into two, then into four. So now this is into four. That's it. This is my zip allowance. I'm leaving this particular area for my zip allowance one inch of zip allowance so the next thing i'm going to take here is the length of the the half cut the length here i'm using 15 inches for the length you can see 15 inches for the half cut let's do it so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut it out i'm cutting the I've cut out. So now this is the half cut. So the next thing here is to determine the shoulder, the ammo, the bust, the waist. So I'm starting from the shoulder. The shoulder here, I'm just 7 inches for the shoulder. 7 inches for the shoulder. The ammo, I'm also using 7 inches. For this particular style, you have to make sure the allowance is much. The main measurement here is both 32. So 32 divided by 4 gives us 8 inches. So this is my 8 inches here. And see, this is 8 inches. So I'm using 4 inches allowance. This is 4 inches allowance. Here too, the waist here. Is 30 inches so this is 30 divided by 4 give us seven and a half inches so this is my seven and a half inches with the same allowance of four inches you can see now I'm going to join the sketch Then I cannot cut. The allowance you added to this, to the bust and the waist. When you remove the front, you can later reduce the allowance for the back because back doesn't have bustier cut I'm deducting the allowance here I'm deducting one inches here one inches here and here I'm deducting one and a half inches one and a half inches so one inches to one and a half inches So this is for the back. So I'm keeping this aside. So now this is the front. What you need here now is to take the measurement from the shoulder. From the shoulder here to the breast point. Which I'm using 9 inches. 
for the voice point. This is it. This tag will be too bust. I'm using seven inches. So this is three and a half for the distance of the two bust. So with the same allowance of three is three point seven inches. Three point seven inches. The cutting you are going to start. You're not starting your cutting from here, you're going to take the measurement. At least start from these two inches, leaving two inches off here, like this. Don't forget, you're starting from here, from here to here is two inches. You're starting from this particular area, then this is the breast point, and this is the, the distance of the two bust exit. So now, this particular one, I'm tracing it down. Like this. That's it. I'm trailing it down. Then from here, from this area, to be a slant to this particular area. Can't see the way I slant the table. So this is it. To the breast point here so from the breast point straight down so you can see the shape so after then the purpose of putting enough allowance you are going to see it now then you will come here and take two and a half inches away this is two and a half inches you can see it so the slant you make here, you're going to make it here also. You can see it. The slant line to this particular area too. You can see the shape now. You measure two inches from here to here, you start the, the slant line to the voice point here, then a straight line to the waist. After that, you measure two and a half inches there, you take a slant line to the voice point also. So that's how you're going to do it. When you take the measurement, like I said earlier, I said the main measurement for the waist here is 30 inches so you are going to take the measurement and check whether you are on silver side so this is 30 and a half inches that's seven inches three and a half inches too that's seven inches and this is six inches which give us 12 so seven plus six that is 18 inches 18 inches and what we need here is 15 inches so it should mean three inches for the sewing allowance so it's still okay so the next thing to do now is to cut it out the first one you're going to cut is this particular one Um, yeah. then the next thing so the next thing is to cut it this way So now, this is it. 
So when you take the measurement, maybe when hardening this particular area and this one, you can you, you see it's you still have enough allowance to sew it, so you can easily deduct one inches from here. Then you're going to slant it to the middle air. But that is if you have enough allowance to make it come out very well. The next thing you're going to do now is to cut the neck. It depends on the different neck you want. So it depends on you. But yeah. So I'm making a round neck for this. So the deepness of the neck here, I'm using three and a half inches. And the wideness of the neck, I'm using three. So from here, I'm going to join it, then I'm cutting it out. So I'm doing the same thing to the back. Let's do it like this. So now, this is the facing. These are the facing. For this and for this so I'm using this wording for the voice part so now to make it stand very well here is the finished work so far this is the princess bustier coat as you can see So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share, bye!